fiercest critics of constitutional reform tirelessly and shamelessly attempted cha-cha when they thought they could take advantage of a shift in the form of government. Now that they feel they cannot benefit from it, they oppose it. At the end of this speech, I shall step down from this stage, but not from the presidency. As the campaign unfolds and the candidates take to the airwaves, I ask them to talk more about how they will build up the nation rather than tear down their opponents. First, and economic constraints that could push you two steps back if you flinch and falter. I have not flinched. I have not faltered. Hindi ako matras sa hamon. And I have never done any of the things that scared my worst critics so much. They are frightened by their own shadows. In the face of attentive coups, I issued emergency proclamations just in case. But I was able to resolve this military crisis with the ordinary powers of my office. My critics call it dictatorship. I call it determination. We know it a strong government. But I never declared martial law, though they are running scared as if I did. In truth, what they are really afraid of is their weakness in the face of this self-imagined threat. I say to them, do not tell us what we all know, that democracy can be threatened. Tell us what you will do when it is attacked. I know what to do. As I have shown, I will defend democracy with arms when it is threatened by violence, with firmness when it is weakened by division, with law and order when it is subverted by anarchy. And always, I will try to sustain it by wise policies of economic progress so that a democracy means not just an empty liberty but a full life for all. I have never expressed a desire to extend myself beyond my term. Many of those who accuse me of it tried to cling like nails to their posts. I am accused of misgovernance. Many of those who accuse me of it left me the problem of their misgovernance to solve. They did it. I am falsely accused without proof of using my position for personal profit. Many who accuse me have lifestyles and spending habits that make them walking proofs of that crime. Those who live in glass houses should cast no stones. Those who should be in jail should not threaten it, especially if they have been there. Our administration with the highest average rate of growth, recording multiple increases in investments, with the largest job creation in history, and which gets a credit upgrade at the height of a world recession, must be doing something right. <laughs>